Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story load as needed mad. Hi Lord, the first is Harbinger, just be hanging level 22, boxes mad and cute as fuck, it is 13. And the orange is mad. That's Henry. Like her. Hey. Who's he? No, oh, this is that place. Let's not go there. That looks nasty. Evening. I was given some names on whom I could contact uh, about the history of the place. Of course, I have now forgotten them. Thank you, Clifford. Hello. Hello. What is this place? Where are we? I'm on duty. Make it. Uh. What? I heard that Red City is run by some sort of council. Chief Harkness meets with Doctor Lee and Bannon to discuss security matters. It's a waste of a good Monday morning, if you ask me. They should just let Chief Harkness call the shots. Uh, no. I need to get going. Bye. That sounds like a terrible idea. Did I read this already? Oh, that's a lot of information. History, which I'm too lazy to read. But this it seems to be some sort of a history museum. Oh, very fascinating. Hmm. But this actually reminds me. Was it there a bobblehead in uh, the science lab? I'm just gonna take a look. Who are you? Hmm. Okay. People. People of the science lab. Tell me what you know about bubble heads. Oh, you do have one. The description on the base reads, It takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. Yeah, cool. Okay, midship deck. And this one goes... To midship deck. Okay. But this one puts me right next to this museum thingy. Is that Wilkes? No, that's uh, Welcome to the Capital Washington. Preservation Society. Hello. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be shy. Have a look around. Abraham Washington's the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Yes, it's an interesting collection indeed. Ah. A fellow scholar, I see. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. Uh, what document is missing then? In 1776, the Second Judgmental Congress got together and adopted a document drafted by none other than Thomas Jefferson himself. It was the day the United States of America earned its name and secured its place in history. This magnificent achievement took form in the Declaration of Independence. All right, uh, if you want me to retrieve the Declaration, all you have to do is ask. Oh, would you? It would mean so much to me, and the Society's collection here. Yeah, sure. Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. You can find the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. All right. Uh, do you know the history of Red City? It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. I can't see how important it is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. Right, thank you. I will go now. Be careful. The archives are infested with who knows what. Declarations, I believe. Uh, okay, what do we have in this direction? Abraham Washington's store. What do you have there? Who's and computers? That's a very hard hacky thingy. I don't think I put that much points in science yet. 
items aid duck and cover grognak neither of those give me science so yeah science is still at 95 generally doing pretty well the for stats yeah. if you have any questions about the exhibits please let me know you're gonna surprise me there so oh, Sorry. No, this is this place. This is the path that leads to the church, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, let's go to the market. Huh. The market looks very, very militarily set up. Ah, Good. Christian. Yeah. Are you related to Henry Young? Henry's my husband. I have a daughter, CJ, too. You'll see her running around here with James Hargrave. Why do you let that James Hargrave kid play with your daughter? That poor child. His mother, Tammy Hargrave, is a very troubled woman. She spends too much time down in the muddy rudder, drinking and using foul language. I feel so sorry for him. I think CJ is a good influence on him, but I do worry about the two of them. Okay, I'm researching the Richard's history. Can you tell me about it? Oh, I don't know about that. For all I know, it's had survivors on it since the war. I'm just thankful it's here. Maybe if you ask Bannon. He's been simply wonderful on the council, so I'm sure he'd be glad to help with your question. Thank you. Uh, what do people do here all day? We're the lucky ones. We don't have to fight just to survive. We have normal jobs. I clean the halls. It might not look like it, but you should have seen it before. Alright. Thank you for your help, Christy. Could I make a compound that would help, me help them clean it even better? I don't know. Goodbye. You are if shrapnel. You want a gun, you've come to the right place. Hello. They call me shrapnel. I run this place. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. Huh. I'm thinking of buying. What you looking for? Hmm. I'm selling. That's actually what I'm looking for. <laughs> it appears I didn't really have anything to sell. Thanks. Thank you. Mm, can I ask you about Richard's history? History? Fuck if I know. Hell, fuck if I care. Thank you. Time for me to go. Come back soon. We always got a lot of ammo in stock. I think this might actually become the hub for me to sell my stuff. He also had more money than uh, Moira. Hello. Hi. <laughs> and you are welcome to Rivet City Supply. I've got a little bit of everything here. Howdy, I'm Seagrave. Seagrave Holmes. I have a little of just about everything here. You got a T fifty one B? No, then you don't have everything. <laughs> a what? Look, if you just want to crack wise, go somewhere else. But if you've got stuff you want to sell, then I'm your man. Hmm. Uh, do you, you know how they rewrote the engrams in a cluster of Android memory super scenes? Shh! They might be listening. The Commonwealth has tried to make it out to be a hoax, but the escaped android is real, I tell you. Listen to this holotape. It will make you a believer too. Thank you? <laughs> what do you know about Fritz in this history? Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, Long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb, but I never really cared about the politics. Can you think of anyone from back then that might know more? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton, and he must have left about a decade ago after that spat with the science team. They used to have a storage shed in the broken off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful though, ship's a bit treacherous down there in her belly. And what can you tell me about the reconstruction? Oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Meyerlurks used to nest. 
and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Myers got so busy fighting each other it gave us the time we needed to make this place shipshape. Does that tell you what you need to know? Anyway, we're here in Rivet City and she's in good hands now. Thank you. Oh, right. I sort of lose track of time talking about the old girl. That, that was actually very useful. Thank you. See you later. Technically, I have enough information to call it the end of the quest, but uh, have a s there is still... Remember that secret android project I told you about? Well, they got some serious pre-war tech on their hands. They nabbed the lipoplasticator and See the anywhere. microdermal will be craftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use it without making him look like a freaking ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit I'm going neuralizer? To grab a bite to eat. That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the guy. Cool. Okay, uh, um, option to check other sources to confirm Rivet City's history. Evening. Staley? Let me introduce myself. I am Gary Staley, gourmet chef and gourmand. I'll be preparing your meal. My specialty is Meyer Lurk cakes, although the iguana is very popular too. And uh, now I'm busy. Suit yourself. Thanks for offering. Hey. Don't forget to pick up your room, CJ. Okay, Mom. That's Christy, that's CJ, that's you. Henry. Hello. We're all here. The whole family. Okay, I didn't check the vendors on this side. Hello, Welcome. Cindy. This is a quick fix. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. Relax, I'm just looking around. Oh, okay. Well, let me know if you want anything. To buy, that is. What can you tell me about the Red City's history? Well, I don't really know, to tell the truth. How does any city get started, really? But I've heard Bannon talk about how he was responsible for its success. So I'd ask him about it. Okay. Bye. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Mm, I'm not so sure, certain. Uh, hello, Welcome Bannon. To Pot Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Uh, I see you're also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. So you're on the city council? Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. It's really none of my business. Don't want to get mixed up in politics, eh? Don't blame you. Uh, why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Alright, uh... Could they ask you about Rivet City's history? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Hasn't Ruined City been around for longer than 12 years? That's just a technicality, really. This wasn't what you'd call a settlement until I whipped them all into shape. More of a camp, really. But I suppose if you really care about what they have to say, you could grill some of the hangar deck rabble. Don't expect a speck of truth from them, especially not that bartending crone, Belle Bonnie. She tells the most disgusting lies. That makes sense and it explains why you're on the council. Precisely. After sponsoring the settlement and organizing the city council, I took my rightful place at its head. Oh, of course, we're all equals there. People would complain if we didn't at least say that. But you and I know better, don't we? Right, it's been a pleasure. Come back soon. I hope to never speak to you again. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Next time on Fallout 3. I'll let you know I have like 100 points.
the 95 points in science and plenty of points in medicine and a lot of points in repair so I would believe this character is well enough educated so you can go and shove a hunting rifle up your ass, pull the trigger and call it a happy afternoon.